So good afternoon class. How are you today? Good. You are good? Okay, thank you. So before I start uh, today's class, I just apologize that last year I forgot about uh, taking attendance. Yes. Maybe professor has given you a hard known way to keep track of attendance. But this class it is not required. It is not required and there is no point you will gain or you will lose if you attend or if you pay attention to this class. But we are asked to keep track this record in our record. In case you need some help for financial education or some somewhere else. Okay. So as I told you that every professor has this or her own way. So far, it is very difficult for me to keep calling my real name. I'm a student and then I don't like to spend 10 minutes okay, for doing that. So, my way is that I will give you the sheet every day. If I forget, you will remind me. And then you will give your signature. Okay, so let us come with some strategies. Uh, okay, so this time we are using pen, no pencil. And every day you will sign it with you will give ten signatures. No initial fee. I will not accept any initial. Okay? And you will give ten signatures every day. Now before you start thinking with signatures, you will get <coughs> Okay? And please do not cheat with me. Say please be fair. Okay? Please be fair with me and give do not give me one or two, three extravagant. I will leave. It's possible. Okay. Uh, if you do not see your name here, so at the end, at the end of the sheet, write your name over here and then and then sign. Okay. You can see that it is a couple days ago, so some of you who register later recently you may not find your name here. Okay. Now, before I start my class, I make this class, I would like to review. I would like to spend 5 to 10 minutes to review previous lectures, especially the last, very last, recent class lecture. The first lecture was not anything too much to review, but uh, I want to give you an opportunity to tell me something if I did a mistake or if I did tell you something wrong or not true. Okay, as a human being, it is very usual for me that I may do anything. I may tell you something that is not true. True in the sense that, that, that uh, I will not tell you something false, knowing you, but I may tell you something that is not correct. Okay, so if I do some mistake, so please help me to be sad. Okay. Okay, I will appreciate your help. Give me every time, every day. And the last thing that I got, some of your expectations here, I did through this. I will try my best to pay up this. Okay? And definitely you should or will have some more expectations. So still, I want to give you another plan. So if you want to expect something from us, if you want to write it down, that's fine. If you want to tell us loudly, then I will appreciate that. Appreciate that, okay? But if you skip time or if you like it, to keep it secret, please help us to write it down. Is it something? You have a mention that anybody want to mention something about your expectation? Okay, another thing that I need to mention that. There is a associate class, layer class, one credit class, right? Associated with this theory class. Is there anybody here that has got registered to the lab to the lab class? Our staff found uh, some some students, not this, not from this 
class, so maybe from other class classes, about 15 students that who have not registered in lab class. So without lab, registering lab class or completing lab class, you will not uh, be able to complete the requirement of this class. Do you remember? And maybe tomorrow is the, or Friday is the uh, due date to register or drop a class, right? Is it the first Friday? Sunday. Of course, Sunday. Sunday, 11.45. Good. Good plan. Okay, if you do so that, please do not wait for class two. Do it uh, at a class. And as I ask you, does any of you have any confusion about this class that you want to drop? I don't know my students drop. Anyway, okay. I can see you guys that by the end of this session, by the end of this like semester, you will learn something new that you did not know recently. And even I like this class to be one of your best class in your college life. Okay, but I myself alone cannot do that. I need all of you active assistance or, or collaboration. My expectation, particularly, are my expectations. I have three expectations to everyone. I have three expectations. Okay, so including myself. So three things. Let us be collaborative. First one, let us be collaborative. You understand what is collaboration, right? Yeah. How to be collaborative, right? Let us hear each other. Okay? This is the key to Let us hear each other to not say. Not in a sense, okay? So, whatever is possible in a lab or class or. Okay? And then, second thing, let us be uh, responsive. Let us be responsible, self responsible. As, 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 a, as an instructor of this class, I want to be self responsible. And as a student of this class, everybody, please be responsible. What is it? You know what are your responsibilities, right? So please fulfill your responsibilities. And then, third thing, please be respectful. Please be respectful to each other. Okay? If you become respectful to me, I will be respectful to you. That is my point. My understanding, okay? Anybody, not only in this class, in there, in campus, at home, with your friends, at family, even if you do not know some, in public gathering, everywhere, please be respectful. If you become respectful, you will be respectful. That is my understanding. But definitely sometimes we as a human being we do mistakes, we do sometimes be uh, respectful, but please try to control yourself and try to avoid respectfulness, okay? Uh, what else? No, no, you don't need, but you don't need to do it, but I myself will. Mm. I wonder, have you, everybody got syllabus? Everybody got syllabus for this class? I emailed you, right? I emailed with the syllabus and I also, uh, I have uploaded to the D2L system. But I am wondering, will you have access to the D2L system after this session? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you can have access to the D2L system after 
Actually, I can see how many views I do have. So then I can see how many of you was the lecture. But the first lecture or the first few lectures will not be, uh, will may not have some important stuff. Maybe from next next lecture when I will be writing program. All the one thing that as although I mentioned that this class will be. Uh, uh, programming language independent. That means we will learn writing maybe pseudocode. We will learn writing pseudocode here. That is programming independent, programming language independent. But in the associate class class, you will convert that pseudocode into real program. Okay? So uh, I think there are two or three lab classes uh, for. Um, so how many of you are how many of you are taking drama? One, two, three, four. How many of you are uh, of you are taking uh, five One, two, three, four, five, six. And, and then I only take three shots. One, two, three, four. Okay? So I can have three shots. About maybe half, and most of we were taking uh, Java. As I told you, any language is can take, but ultimately, uh, what the next four years, right? By the time you graduate from the College of Computing and Software Engineering, you would be, or you have to learn three, four, five programs. Like you definitely you will learn, learn Java, you will learn Python, you will learn C sharp, and you will uh, make C plus plus. Is there anybody here taking C plus plus? What one? C plus plus, that's it. Okay, 
Okay. Like if you take hundred hours, thousand hours, or whole life class of theoretical class of how to swim, but you do not dive into water, never. Will you be able to swim? Yes. Thank you. But I'm thinking, I'm telling, I want to tell you that without going into water, right? Without any practical class in swimming, by taking economy theoretical class, okay? So you cannot learn how to say. Then there may be some, yeah, some exception, but the exception is not an example. Okay, again. And then my second story is, is that, uh, everybody know, uh, you know, that coconut? Coconut, have you seen coconut? Have you seen coconut? Huh? Coconut? Like coconut, it's not like, uh, let me find it. Okay, so it's like this is one of my favorite foods. One of my favorite foods, coconut. You know, yeah, yeah, I like. And I will fly on sea in my home country and try to get coconut. So, coconut is really. Uh, is there anyone that uh, has coconut? Uh, 
are not spent. Four lakhs are making people happy. But one thing that if you understand the uh, sexual concept of programming, yes, you will do that. But otherwise, if you do not understand the concept of programming, actual intelligence of programming, like a coconut, so it will be like four and very hard. This class is like a coconut. You can break down the shape of this class. We have to go a few more classes in order to break down the shape of this class. Okay? Once you break down the shape, we will be the interesting class. Really, it will be definitely interesting class. I told you that. But definitely, this is harder. Okay? Coming down and uh, an apple is easier, but, 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 but making a coconut, which will survive the hundred species, is really difficult. It's very fine. You need to give attention in this class. And I have a restriction in this my class. Unless I tell you to open a computer or to ask something else, please, you are not allowed to open a computer and you are not allowed to open a phone. Unless I tell you. Whenever I need it, I will get it. Okay, so that is it. I am uh, not getting the general condition. Okay? I am not giving my eyes to anyone else's skin. I am not allowed and I am not interested in this. What I want to do, I want to utilize my time here and I want to utilize all of your time, right? You are 100 people here. I am spending only one year. But collectively, you are spending 100. So I have to be careful about 100 hours. Yes, sir, but if you open a Facebook or any social media and you will be maybe you will be happy. You will be more happier than listening my lecture. For now. But, but ultimately you will lose something. Maybe I will be talking an hour. Okay, maybe there are two or three sentences sometimes will hit your brain. That will be helpful, right? Not, you know, not all of my words will hit your mind, will hit your brain, will not be easy for you. But there might have something, one or two sentences, or one or two truths, that will help you. Maybe today, or tomorrow, or in the future. So let us okay, do that, okay? So please do not spend a single moment, okay? So, my watching. Any YouTube have a YouTube video or then a movie or like listening at the car or the singing, please do not Can we be uh, angry? My point. Anybody has any disagreement? Anybody has any disagreement that I like? Not to allow you to open. Any yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Then you can you can your note on your phone, on your on your uh, on your uh, laptop. If you need, you can you can record it. You can type it. No, that's no problem. But I'm requesting you, please do not miss it. Please out. Understand? Yeah, you can record me. I'm recording, right? I am recording and I am giving you record. I am giving you record video. But I that I am requesting is do not miss you uh, the advanced feature of uh, technology, right? Okay, use the features of technology in positive way, but not negative way. You will have more time to, uh, to uh, communicate with your friends and family after my class. Do not do it in my class, okay? But if you have something urgent, have phone calls or something urgency, please go, why see, go outside the class and then make your phone call with me. Or make your phone call or the conversation will come back. But do not disturb me, you don't need my mother. Okay, and do not disturb someone else. Okay, and I am asking you, please try to keep 100% attention in this class. Definitely, if you are, if you do a Facebook, Chatting with your friends, you will, uh, for a minute or five minutes or one minute, you will lose your concentration. It's you more important. You something important than you need. At that point, a few unchanging. Okay? 
It's super fast. We we have uh, okay. We have just 45 minutes, but but the week one is that we should discuss about introduction and theorem. I don't like to spend my whole hour arguing minutes to discuss about theorem. So then let us go to the week two. Let us start from week two uh, discussion. So. Uh, for this tutorial, I want to bring syllabus. Maybe you've got all of you got syllabus, and you know that there is no specific book for this class. Most of the time, I will uh, give you my uh, handouts and from next class, and then resources. There are a lot of resources that you can see. Especially, you need a book for lab class. You need to discover a book for lab class. Yeah. There are tons of information uh, online. Uh, will you provide like uh, readings that we need to do before each class? Like what we what exactly? Maybe a few will organize in the syllabus. I'm a little behind. It will be behind to complete the syllabus because this is the first time. Uh, 
So if I say, if I ask you this question, what is it? It's food, right? So if it's food, right? So if you say the general word food, then you will see that uh, in the one word, single word food, but by this single word food, we can, if I ask you, please bring me a book. Bring a book for me, right? Then if I just tell you that please bring a book for me, then you are good to bring any kind of book, right? There are millions of millions of types of books in this world, right? You can bring a bike, okay, you can bring any kind of book. So in general book is a class, <coughs> is a type. Right? But when you bring a specific, okay, concrete book, that is an option. This book, if it is a, like a Java programming book, is itself is a, an object of book type. Right? When it's a book, then book is a type. You understand the type? And when it is a book, specific book, it is an object. Okay, so then like the, if I say pen, if I say pen, like right? in general, a pen is a
five kilograms or five pounds uh, rice or flour, right? So then we have different measurements, right? In pounds, then for the pounds, then T, right? And the second, time, time, time we measure the second, right? Okay. You will not tell me that. Sometimes we are we, we are used to in this, uh, in using some ambiguous data type. Okay, so sometimes we call my friend, okay, how far are you? He says, okay, I am in five for five minutes. You understand the word? In general, we measure distance by mile or kilometer, right? But sometimes we have to get that in our country we say that for in our production. I mean five minutes. That's I give you five minutes time to cover this. It may be five miles, if he is on three ways, by the three ways, the five minutes is maybe he can like five miles. If he is walking, that's maybe two blocks. That's different for situation. So that's what I'm telling you. The size, it's everything has size difference. So like for instance, when you are your grade, you get grade, and then you get later grade, A, B, C, D, 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 and when you have grade numbers, you know, 2.5, 3.5, something like that. And then, when you uh, measure our height, we measure in centimeter or feet and inches, right? And then when we measure our weight, we measure how much weight has. So, we measure in centimeter? No, we measure in pounds, right? So, based on data, there are some size associated with data. Right? You understand? Based on our data, so there are some size. So same thing in programming languages, programs are implemented with some uh, charge, with some size. Like for instance, when you work with work with uh, integer numbers, like integer, you understand integer numbers? You will have integer number, right? Full number, one, two, three, four, five. Negative one, negative two, negative five, and zero, including zero. So that's the that number. Then we have a integer time. When you work with like uh, with decimal number, with, with decimal point, if you get that you may or may not decimal point in your data. Like for instance, if I I make the height of all of our students, right? So if I I become one three with feet. I may not find exact results, right? So if I tell you, I, will, I have only a scale that can measure only on feet. Not more than that. My foot is can measure. The scale is my, uh, the unit is making foot. Then almost everybody will be happy. All the same, right? But if I go to inch, inch, then you sum up with, we have four feet nine inches, some of you will have four feet ten inches, some of you will have. I put two in the side, five in six, 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 six in the side. Then I will have more accurate measure, right? So that kind of thing. So then we have flow in number, flow in our number. Then when we work with three names, when I write two names, right? our address, or when I want to write some story or a paragraph, something writing, like when you with alpha numeric character. Then we have a data type three. Okay. So based on our data type, so we have to implement our programs and we have to think how uh, our programs are logically implemented and and we can program. Like for instance, can everybody see here if I write over here? So if I want you to ask, to add uh, 1, 2, 25 plus 10, it's easy, right? One twenty-five plus 10, so that everybody knows that if my result will be 125, right? But if I have two strings like that, 125 plus 10, 
Then my weight are going to be 1, 2, 5, 1, 0. So because when I, in, in some programming languages, like Java or uh, Python, if I want to add two strings, so that the strings are concatenated, concatenated. First string, the second string comes right after the first string. Okay? So that, so by adding two numeric values, we give a different result than by adding two strings. Okay? So that means so that, that same symbol we are using as many symbol class. We know that class size it adds to numbers, right? But not always. For string, it will not give us give us some result. Okay, sorry. So by double coding in programming, in most of the programming languages, we identify or we denote a string by putting this uh, some alphanumeric character within double codes. So then we got another type of string. Okay. And then by integer uh, then decimal uh, uh, for decimal number we will use uh, double or two at time and for string, okay, but in addition to this, this simple type or basic or primitive type, we sometimes we in order to develop Sophisticated applications, sometimes we need to design or develop our own type. We need to develop and design our own type. For okay. instance, these own types have, have different, different or a number of primitive type combinations. So that, that, these are complex types, this complex type we say plus. When you say class, you can class in observatory programming, then you will uh, think that this class has the object of this class or this type, this class type element has some or all or at least more, two or more different types. Like for instance, when you say, later we'll see how we, we type, we will uh, design class type as a student. So if you say student is a type, right? So a student has a name, right? So a name will be what type? String type. Student has, like for instance, A, right? A. How many you go here? Yeah. That, that will be a, a double type or third type or some numeric type. So if I ask you how old are you, then you will say someone will tell you that 20 years old. If 20 is, if it's a full number, then uh, it is uh, an integer type. Then the student has also his department, right? His first name, his last name, his social security number, and then his department is when he is doing, he is appearing in the exam, he will have a grade point, right? So when you say student, so if I, so for instance, when I say student, then the student will be class or child, right? So if I ask you, so if I ask you, so you call a student for what do you do? Who is Gina? Any student, right? So then, there it will be an object of this student type, right? So as an individual, you are a student, okay? So you are an object. You are a student, she is a student, she is a student, uh, he is a student, he is a student. So individually, everyone is an object of this student type. Okay, but collectively, when you say collection, when you declare or define a collection of similar type of this, that, then we call class or type. You see that this is a call, uh, this is a third line, we choose uh, introduction to type system. So we need to learn about type system. So when it's called key program type, then we will understand and use Type. Okay. Then the type when you say student. Yes. So the so it was so you will bring someone or you will call someone that has some characteristics that a general student should have or have. Right? But if you ask me, okay, call that student. Then 
for someone who has some characteristics that is in a professor or also all professor has, right? So you understand that? Right? So let us uh, see how Christ has used our uh, The last, last class we, we wrote that, for instance, if we have x equals to 25, right? So then, if x is a full number, then it's an integer number, then in most of the programming languages, we will have, we will say integer i and t, or in your case, x. So by, by writing i and t before x, that the programming compiler will understand that this x is a variable for type of an integer type. So this is a type, and this is a integer variable. Variable means that can vary, that can hold a value, that value can be changed. Variable means yes, that can vary, right? This, when you say integer x, that means when you say like for instance in programming language, when you say int x, that will so that compiler program will program will understand that this is a variable for an instance that will able be a, that will be able to hold an an integer type. Any kind of integer value, but the restriction is that at a certain time it will hold only one value. At a certain time it will have hold only one value. It cannot hold two values. As a human being, we have we may have multiple names, right? We may have multiple names, but we have some attributes that is in right? That is in we can never say, for example, like our my mother name. They must say, my father will never be there. My social security number, they will never be there, right? But my age, or I say, that is that my age is right? With my height, my weight, these are what I say. These are changing, you know, that these are changing, that means these are still heavy, these may be to be, we can put it heavy. At some point, they say in programming language, we will be able to implement those corruptions that, 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 that never change. That always say those corruptions. Never change. Okay. Then we will also be able to implement corruptions. So, for instance, if I have E, for instance, A, A, Y, and Z. We have, then we understand that our programming language will understand that we have three variables over here. So we have three variables, which is a type variable over here. And then when we say that C is a type variable, that means how this variable to work in programming language. Like when you declare a variable in programming language, it creates a space in computer memory. You understand by in general. By storing memory, we say that it is RAM. You understand RAM? Random access memory? Random access memory, that means random access to space, uh, memory space, uh, kind of in this memory space can be changed. Random access memory. So then, when you say integer x, then there will be a space in memory that will be named as a. There will be another variable when you say y, there will be another variable in the space that will be named as y. It, it is not because that these two variables will be consecutively next to each other, it may be next to each other or it may be another place. So we measure how many uh, spaces we should have in our memory. Like for instance, we have 100 gigabytes or 100 megabytes or 1 terabyte memory. Right? When we pass the computer, if you say the memory, how much memory it has? Memory means we are left by there. And the left of memory. So then when you declare a variable, it goes, it takes a place in computer memory. It takes a name, right? For instance, where, where in this Ikabar, we have to build it, right? The building, some buildings have dual names. Some buildings have, uh, have names. 
but it's just this engineering will be one architect, the architect will be right, but it may have a number like 408 or 508, it may, it may have a number, right? So in computer system, okay, so it understands both ways. It understands both ways or multiple ways. As human beings, we understand multiple ways. Sometimes when we say our phone number, when we say the phone number in our phone, right? We still have a phone number that is a new maker phone number, right? For instance, 770123456. A new maker phone number, right? We dial, actually, every time we dial to this phone to that memory phone number, right? But sometimes, uh, always, we save that phone number by a numeric name, right? My friend's name is Tom. Okay? So when I got Tom's phone number, I save that phone number by his name, by numeric letter, right? But when we need to call Tom, then we press call button, call Tom, or this app, I really call Tom. Okay? So, does she call Tom or does she call Tom? Does she call Tom number? Tom number, right? We call actually that call actually goes to a numeric number, right? Even when we do, we press only this selected number and this call button, it goes to a numeric number, right? Similarly, similarly, every, every uh, location Every computer location has has a uh, serial number. Zero, one, two, three, four, like this way. Serial number. And okay, so this serial number has so like for instance if S is if it takes place at my serial at position one and Y takes put at position four, right? So then when we so then when we, we in general human beings Remember the things by numeric numbers. Like for instance, we cannot remember all of my great phone numbers, right? We just cannot remember this one we have an automatic way to write down to save that phone number by the name, right? But if think about the situation, if we did not have any facilities or our phone to write down uh, to save my credit phone number by the name, what would happen? Right? Really, we would have to carry a large log book or uh, a paper book to write down the, my telephone number. And every time I used to call my friend, I used to open the book and call my book. Okay? A human being, we cannot do it. But, but computers are an electronic device, it is easier for them to uh, detect by number, not by name. We gave we, we give an alternative, alternative way so that we can remember. So that when I am saying that in Peter X, then X will take a place in memory, we don't need to know where it is that. Okay? That we need to remember that I have a variable X. And this variable will be able to hold a cell, uh, an integer type cell. And then when I declare a variable Y, compiler was to Programming language itself, which is the programming language responsibility to take place, to assign a place for one, okay, and whenever I will assign a value, for instance, I will assign a value x equals 25, then this value of 25 will be converted into binary number system, right? So everything in computer, when you type, a, B, C, D, L, Y, Z, or when you speak, or when you record a movie, or anything, internally everything is converted into binary numbers, right? You know that, right? 0 and 1, combination of 0 and 1, right? For instance, when you give a value, then this value internally will a few milliseconds convert into something 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, right? And this value, when you say Y equal to 15, the fifteen values is converted by this way, one, 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 one. I'm not writing exact value. Okay? So these are easy within a millisecond. Within a few milliseconds, these values are converted internally and stored over here. Okay? But there is one restriction is that this memory space 
cannot hold two together. Cannot hold two together. Because every every place there is a B. This B A contains zero zero or one. Actually, this B is a C. It is a it is a R C. It is a sub. We have only one power. We have to turn one or turn one. If it is turn one, then we say zero. And if it is turn one, then we say one. So, and then, but if you do not say this I and C. Uh, if you do not declare the type, most of the programming language will be confused. Most of the programming language will confuse the what kind of data you will store over there. How many bytes I have to reserve for that? So that for instance, if you go in the hotel room, hotel, uh, if you call it a hotel, no, hotel, uh, hotel, or hotel, in a directory of phone number, and you ask them uh, to please reserve it. These are group ones. So definitely they will ask you how many groups you need. Right? Is there any way that you can say, I don't know how many groups I need? Are you able to reserve a room? Like, these are the people, these are the people who don't tell you how many groups you need, for how long you need. So they will not allow you, right? They will not offer you enough money. Okay? So because, similarly, all programming languages allow that when you uh, we will be declaring the variables you will assign how, what kind of value you will put in this. This is literally contained, okay, but in some programming languages, okay, then they are more interactive, okay, more intelligent, that they detect, they say, automatically detect, that what time, how many rooms are you need. Like, for instance, if you go, uh, and hold it and please uh, and ask them in the hotel in the hotel uh, in front there and, and tell them that please give me a give a room for me. Then she should she should be more intelligent than to understand that you need only one room. Right? But if you try to go around and ask them to give hotel room, to hotel room and he or she sees that you are alone, but you see, she moves three rooms for you, okay? And that's for three rooms. Will you be happy? You will not be happy, okay? but if she tells you, okay, you not tell me how many rooms you need. You will be happy? No. Because you will ask them, you should be uh, intelligent, you should be wise to understand that I was alone over here. I asked you to give me a room, but why did you give me two rooms, three rooms, and why are you starting me for extra rooms? Yes. So now there are a few programming languages, these are programming languages that are in more intelligent. That most of the time they detect themselves that by looking the data type, what kind of data it is storing, for half time storing data, it automatically assigns the time for you. But most other programming languages, then like C and C or Java, you have to assign type of the reason of assigned size at the first time, the beginning, there is a reason. For instance, in Java, if you say integer x, then we will assign, it will assign four consecutive bytes for it. Four consecutive bytes for it. Okay, four bytes. So, we will, uh, maybe in your getting a computer in class, we will understand the one we call base bytes. Okay. And then uh, there are uh, 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 there are integer type, short type, fluid type, double type. So when you say an integer type, okay, so that there will be a four for instance, integer type, there will be four consecutive rooms for you. Okay. But think about the situation. If you reserve four consecutive rooms, hotel rooms, okay, then you may uh, have four clear things. We have four people to live in four rooms, right? But you, you may have another facility if you have only one person. Then, only you will be there, but two or three other rooms will be empty, right? Will be missing, right? Maybe missing. But there is a restriction that, for instance, you will have put four hotel rooms, right? So then, maximum you can leave four people. 
programming independent i will sometime use java and sometime i will use python in order to run and then in order to run our program how many of you have done any program that you know you have installed java in your computer install you, you have installed compiler you know you have if you are work you are, if you if you are taking java lab how many of you have java installed in your computer okay uh, if you are taking python how many of you have python installed in your computer okay everybody okay so everybody should have the compiler installed and configured in your computer okay by the uh, by next week or by the weekend so for you uh, so who are taking give me one more minute please who are taking my uh, java class i have see in it seems if you go to csit at expert my online forum you will see some playlist this is the playlist and you see the playlist on the playlist section 1321 sec, uh, section 06 i am putting this lecture okay so if you go and then watch this video if you go and to this playlist you will see the lecture of this and uh, for other sections and actually i have another playlist here java eclipse maven and jenkins Right. So if you open up this, so you see I have like I have uh, recorded so far five videos. So so one of these videos it says 
how to check whether java is installed in your computer or not how to check your computer configuration okay so please follow these videos and before you go to next class and especially by the weekend please watch these videos and whether you are checking java or not and I will help you. So for instance, if you if you get stuck, if you see something does not work, okay, do not wait for me, just please give your uh, comment over here, that you have to understand, I will get uh, notification, whenever I have time, I will reply to you, okay. And in, in order to do that, in order to get my reply, you need to uh, subscribe the channel. You need to subscribe the channel, okay, you don't have, if you don't, if you don't have any problem, please subscribe this channel, and uh, frequently, I will upload more videos on here. Especially in the programming. Programming days and the program I will add over here. You will see by the end of the semester, you will see more than 100 videos. Okay, there are certain times, if you start like in month later, you should not be able to talk about this video. Spend an hour, two hours to learn and complete these videos. And the most, everybody please, I like to give you a requirement. So everybody please watch this this watch this video first thing first the things that i like everybody to be, be familiar with your pc like how many uh, uh, memory size is megabyte or uh, gigabyte ram or memory in computer have whether your computer is uh, running under 64 bit operating system or 32 bit operating system okay you need to know this and especially you need to know who is keyboard some keyboard keyboard uh, shortcut keys sometimes you always not should not be uh, using your mouse in order to make in order to save your file we know that control plus is is a shortcut of saving a file right control plus a is a shortcut for selecting all control plus c is, is a shortcut for copy right control plus b is a shortcut for paste so we need to be used to uh, in using this keyboard shortcut okay so please everybody at least please watch this video and if you no matter if you like java or hate java no problem but everybody please install java in your computer because sometime i will see i will write some code with java and eclipse okay and then if you go with me and because although this class says computer programming language is independent but it will be easy for me to be able to say
But I will add some things and I will give some things and then I will give video or something that you will need this when you go to us. Okay. So then I will like to give you for and if you like this, this uh, channel, if you like to visit the opera, so please join me. Please join me, okay? Please join me. And next time, okay, so next class, I will do two things, two more things. I will send you invitation for tea. You understand my first team? My first team, there is an app. My first team app, I will use this for key communication. Okay? But it is difficult for me to reply and or Email from the other okay. There is a media way to you swag, or swag, or a team, or something. Okay. I use for official communication with me, but for my uh, YouTube channel or not, for my website, but I may give you, uh, I will add, add him on swag. So if you are interested to join in this, yeah, CSI is an expert online for us. You must have to use Gmail. I will use Google Facility for free. But without the Gmail, I am not. If you are interested to join in my YouTube channel, you must send me an email to it from your Gmail. Any Gmail, okay? By sending uh, from other email address or university email address, do not allow me to grant you access to some of the advanced stuff that I would like to. Uh, help you with uh, an additional. Okay, so if you like this, so, so please send me an email to csitadexpert at gmail dot com. Definitely, that must be from your Gmail account. Okay, any Gmail account you can create is for free. So thank you for this class. I will see you next class. Thank you.